Overnight, a ferocious nor'easter walloping the tri-state area and southern New England, with torrential rain and powerful winds causing streets to flood and downing trees and power lines. Coastal communities preparing for a potentially devastating storm surge. We can't. We can't fool around with this because we, we will lose a neighborhood if we do. This following days of wild weather out west, where a phenomenon known as a bomb cyclone pounded Oregon, Washington, and California, becoming the strongest storm ever recorded in the region. Eight million residents under flood and wind alerts. Individuals are stuck in uh, a large amount of water here. In San Francisco, powerful winds blew over semi-trucks like toys, submerged vehicles left abandoned in the road. Backyards turned into rivers, forcing evacuations. Other residents using any means necessary to keep the rising water out of their homes. Yeah, it's all in the house too. The drought and wildfire scorched ground, unable to absorb the onslaught of rain. Hillsides turning into landslides. This one in Northern California, cutting off access to a major highway. Nearly 100,000 people are still without power. Meanwhile, in the Midwest, heavy rain and wind causing surging waves on Lake Michigan, while tornadoes, some as powerful as EF3s, carved paths of destruction across Missouri and Illinois. Can't open ripping the lid off the house. The cleanup here just beginning as the powerful storm strengthens and moves up the East Coast. Residents now bracing for the worst. So New York City was accused of being flat-footed during Hurricane Ida. That's not the case this time around, particularly when it comes to the transportation system. They've had hundreds of crews overnight at 50 different subway stations, making sure that those vents were closed off and that the grates above ground, including the gutters, were cleared out so that the subways didn't get shut down. Right now, they are actually up and running. You know, this rain is going to continue all day long. It's going to turn into heavy winds, 25 to 35 mile an hour gusts here in the city out on Long Island, 50 miles an hour. And that's st the storm is going to move up through the northeast all day long. And you're going to have those same conditions in places in Massachusetts and Maine. Guys, back to you. Wow, Steph, thank you. Lots for Al to keep his eye on. He's in its coast to coast this morning. Yeah, yeah unfortunately, storm. we're going to focus right here in the northeast. We've got this nor'easter. Uh, so an east coast storm that provo uh, produces coastal winds from the northeast. Check. That's what's happening today on into tonight. We've been talking about bomb cyclone out west. Well, we could be seeing that here in the east. What's a bomb cyclone? A, a cyclone. It's when a system goes into what they call bombogenesis. That's intensifying with a pressure drop of 24 millibars in 24 hours. It's still too early to tell, but that could happen later on this afternoon or this evening, creating a possible bomb Easter coming up the coast. We are looking at heavy rain, flash flood watches and warnings for 39 million people in the northeast of New England. You can already see that heavy rain moving up from upstate New York into New York and parts of New England starting to dry out a little bit in Philadelphia. These two systems will merge slowly, intensify and move away with the heaviest rain today into New England. Then tomorrow it moves off the coast, but behind it, very strong, gusty winds. So for today, widespread uh, flooding. We're looking at this flooding that could be made worse because of the leaves that are down, clogging storm drains. So we're going to be watching that right throughout New England. Rainfall amounts anywhere from two to four inches, could be upwards of five. The strongest winds are going to be along the New England coast with wind gusts at hurricane force possible, and that will bring some power outages, and those outages worsen because, of course, we still have leaves on the trees, and those could come down, bringing down more power lines. We're going to continue to track this, and coming up, we're going to be looking at the possibility of a tropical system forming a little bit later on off the northeast wow. coast. Guys? All right, Al, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.